This is a video of introduction of Python on phones. I'll be using an app, it's called 2Python 3S. It's on the Play Store. You can always get it there. So this is 2Python 3. This is the interface. I'll be giving a quick preview of the interface. The console, it allows you run native Python commands. If you don't need to save them and you want to run commands quickly, the console works. The editor, it's where you shall be doing most of your work, saving. QPy, Py, this is an interface to allow you install packages. Then programs, these are the programs you'll be running with a thing. Up, then the community for help. Okay. I could go somewhere on console, I give you an example. This is the console. If I say print, hello. I think I haven't defined the put a parenthesis. Hello world. Prince hello world. I define a variable a equals to five. B equals eight. Then I print there some print something of a plus b. enter it's touching it also holds variables the same way the console on the computer does i could make a variable c which is equal to a plus b then i print c i think c should be able to print 13 also print c yes all the native commands it has an interface preferences for those who have eye problems you could change the print the colors you could change the font size it was 14 you could put it to 24 so that i go back and someone sees the work i'm doing then also someone could change the color colors white text on black green text on black it depends on your solarized light let me do solarized light and you see and i go back this is how the interface will look like so that's a brief overview of the console i could close yeah another thing is if you're using the console and you press back it asks you do you want to run the console in the background if you are doing something like a web app it's okay to run it in the background but if you are doing something of simple plain script you can say no so i'll go to the editor Yes, but before going to the editor, I'll first go to this QPyPy. This QPyPy interface is the one to allow you install packages. Uh, it works when network is there. My data connection is off. I could first put it on. But, but before that, let me just go to the editor. Editor, on opening the editor, it brings, I've already done a new file, but let me go back. It brings an interface like this. So, if you are doing a Python script, this is the folder where you are working from. QEdit shows that here, this is the new file, there is no file name. This is the interface to save a new file. This is a creating new file icon. This is the interface to customize, to customize your fonts. So, I could customize before we go. Fonts, let me just increase to 24. Yeah, it's 18 so that all one can see now. I think that is more to 24. Ah, yeah. So then I create a new file. If you are doing a Python, Python will do a Python script. I do a Python script called trial.py. Scripts of Python end with dot py as the extension. Okay. They say the project has been created using the editing script here, script.py. This is where your file will be in storage, emulated, to zero, qpython, script, trial.py. Okay. I think it's very big. Let me first reduce the font size to 16. They go back. Uh, 16 is too small. And put on 18. Yeah, I think this one is. So it comes like this. Uh, for the sake of uniformity, I usually delete everything, more, select all, delete. So I have my script like this, trial.py. Um, 
each work you're doing you can keep always saving using this self icon it's down here the self icon it's down here you can always save using that self icon then yeah so let me do the same script we did the other time i'll do something of a variable a equals 15 variable b equals 6 let me first put a comment i comment on what i'm doing comment using the hashtag sign this is a script that adds two numbers okay so a equals this this one equals this one then i be like what is the sum sum a variable called sum equals 15 plus sorry about that equals a plus b then now i print my sum you see with this one it, it doesn't click the print unless you invoke invoke that printing unless you run the script so if i go on running the script the script you run it from here if i go i run the script from this play thing the play icon so let me run the script mm. to run the script and print for you the 21 if you're seeing 21 is here uh sorry about this let me use this let me use an allo 21 is here so if you want you can do something and add edit the script and say let's go back they say place enter to exit i press enter i print and i say let me print something and say something like this so that we can identify our the sum of two numbers is i close then i concatenate. it but the problem is i think i'll get an error let's first run and then we get the error and see i'm running again ah i got i got an error the error that says where is this i got an error that says print the sum sum must be a string like you can't add an integer to a string you can't concatenate an integer to a string so uh how i will solve that error i'll go back run console in background no i'll go back and say my sum i, I there's a python method to convert a, an integer to a string i will string it str then i close the brackets again so now i run again I think it should not bring an error yeah it has brought it the sum of two integers is as so as you can see it has given us that thing so i want to try some other features some other features such as input of user i could modify our run console in the background no i could modify our script and i say a i make it an input here i make it an input then in my input i prompt the user to give first number first number sorry i'm not used to android yes okay then before that i think it will be appropriate if i added what the script is doing i be like print then i put a string a string that says the script is print sum of two numbers so that the user can see what he's doing sum of two numbers the user can see i'm adding two numbers then this is print input first number 
then I also get another user input of second number so the user knows I'm doing the first number second number then I put this one here I close the bracket so my script is taking an input a of the first number uh, input a of the first number as you can see here input a of the first number is there then I also take an input of the second number then I print the sum of two numbers is let me, let me show you I print the sum of two numbers I make an I made an a variable called sum then I string it yeah that is the whole script the simple script of Python then let's run it and see if we shall get an error so I'll run it again ah it brings sum of two numbers as you can see here as you can see here it brings sum of two numbers that's what the script is saying then it's wanting the user to put the first number so me the user i will now put the first number here first number there so what will be our first number let me put 13 enter he asked me second number 16 and my script says the sum of two numbers is 13 16. is this is it true i don't think it's true let's first check where we because now it's concatenating them so let me now exit see let me press enter the exit and check where i made an, an error a equals this one we never define it whether these are integers or what so maybe what i could do is define it there make a an integer the sum a which is got equals an integer integer we use int int a and then b equals int b so if you like this tutorial you will you will comment in the comment section and ask for more yeah i'll be ready to do them so i will save then they will say file saved file we save using this we save using this one for each work it is doing really that icon then i will run using this other icon so let me now run to first ask me the, for the first number i said 13 second number 16 it says the sum is 29 so i think that has been a full shot run console in background no then in addition it's already saved in addition if you want to share the, the file you can always go back to your file manager where is the file for those who use android they use files this cover up then you could go into storage devices we said it is in zero i think it is in zero it is to python it's here then scripts we did the answer in script then the script was called first trial dot pi first trial dot pi then i let me try opening it they will ask me can't preview this file but then if i come to my q python here where is our qpython app qpython 3 and open the program editor then it will be already open let me first close it then if it opens like this and you need to open a file what you usually do is you come here on this file icon so editor if i click on the file icon it opens for you the other folder then you for scripts first try dot pi it's here there are other examples of the other files i've done then first try dot pi no i don't think it's this one it's try dot pi sorry try dot pi it's here it's done we did then i run as usual to be able to run if i put a number like b it will allow b then they tell you we can't make b an integer and c an integer so that has been the 
brief interview for those who need PyDroid. It's the same way, but I recommend QPyDroid.py because of its interactive features. There's this button here for those who need to run web apps, something like that. So thank you guys for listening and maybe don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Uh, have a blessed day.